So Odaiba has been very, very popular as of late. Is it because of the Rainbow Bridge? Or the Liberty Tower over there? Well, I guess we'll find out, shall we? One, two, three, fuck it. If you are a tourist in Odaiba, it will take you around 6 to 8 hours to travel the entirety of Odaiba. So instead of having to deal with that, I will recommend you 4 places that you should visit on Odaiba while you're here. The first shopping mall I would recommend is the Diver City Tokyo Plaza. It is home to the world's only life-size Gundam statue that was built in 2009 to commemorate its 30 years of existence. It is the shopping mall closest to Odaiba station so I suggest you visit this mall first. I recommend you guys to check the Hello Kitty souvenir shop which also sells bite-sized cakes that are fresh in the shop every day. And of course, Diver City being the home of the Gundam, you should definitely check the Gunpla Tokyo. It is an exhibit of Gundams built by talented people all over the world. They renew a lot throughout the year, so definitely watch out for that action. Moving on to the second destination, we have the longest complex in this list, which is Pallet Town. It is a group of shopping facilities which include the History Garage, the Venus 4th, which by the way is the most unique one in Odaiba in my opinion, and one of the world's largest Ferris wheel. I would recommend checking the History Garage first as it is quite a view. They even have the car from Back from the Future which I think was a nice touch. After you're done checking the History Garage, I would recommend checking the Toyota City Showcase inside Venus 4th. The Toyota City Showcase shows the most modern Toyota cars, technology, and they also cater different services such as racing simulators. As always, more information will be found on the links on the description down below. And of course, probably the most noticeable landmark in Odaiba is one of the world's largest Ferris wheel. It is on the expensive side, costing you $10 for 15-minute rotations. Check this video out by Tokyo Extra. They have very detailed information on the places I did not mention in this video. The third shopping mall I will show you is called Dex Tokyo Beach. It features multiple theme parks that are indoors such as Joy Police, the Legoland Discovery Center, and the Wax Museum. <laughs> On the 4th floor, you will find a shopping district theme spot. It shows you how the old shopping districts were like and they also have a takoyaki museum inside the old shopping district. If you are a big fan of takoyaki, definitely give that a shot. The last but definitely not the least is the Aqua City. The Aqua City might not stand out in this list because of its simplicity but it definitely won't let you down. The Aqua City has remarkable movie theaters, possibly the best one in Tokyo. And if you are with kids, I suggest going to the Disney store located on the third floor. There are a ton of people who go here so I guess it's best to come early. Probably my favorite spot of Odaiba, they also have a ramen themed museum where you can eat the ramen of your choice. If you guys didn't know, the Aqua City has a rooftop with a shrine in it. It also gives you amazing views, great for just having a good relaxing time. If you guys have any suggestions as to the best spots in Tokyo, definitely leave that in the comments down below. And I will see you guys next time.